What's up guys, it's your boy Mark Prime 100 here back with another Transformers Kingdom review. Before I start the video, I just want to say, hey guys, how you been? I know it's been a while since I've done YouTube videos for my channel. It's just been a lot for me, um, wor working a lot, you know, eight hour shifts, and then coming home just makes me be tired all, all day, you know, and then we'll have to work the next day and stuff, you know, so I had always am tired and don't really have the energy to make videos but I am getting back on, on the grind to make more videos for my channel and for you guys so you guys can view them another thing too I did move as well so moving there was really a lot too so that's why I had to like pack all my all my figures and stuff and then and everything so yeah that's why I haven't done also videos for my channel because I moved and then just working eight hour shifts a lot you know but I'm happy to be back and then happy to make more videos for you guys and for my channel all right now let's get back with the video so on today's review we'll be we'll taking a look at Rotor Break Core Class from Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Cyber so I hope you guys enjoy like and subscribe so let's take a look at the package and then we'll take a look at Rotor Breaker himself so here's his package I did keep kept it for the for the video I usually just throw these away but since I'm doing a video about him I'm gonna I keep the the packages of each court class figure so you can see here's a full view of let me just turn to this full view right here of him and this kind of I forgot the name of the dinosaur but it looks pretty pretty scary and creepy at the same time but awesome too he's, he's all back on the back he is Number three, I think he's a core class. Turn around, you see him in his awesome robo mode and his dinosaur, dinosaur skeleton mode. Yeah, so that's it for the packaging. Now, let's take a look at Vertebrake himself. So, here is Vertebrake. Look, looking awesome. Um, I never expected, I never seen um, Transformers figures in their in dinosaur skeleton bones. This is my first time actually owning a. A skeleton transform figure. When I first heard about Vertebrake and the other fossil transformer figures, I was like, hmm, that's really interesting what they're doing. Now I guess this these figures were these characters were in uh, Beast Wars. I still haven't finished the show. I'm barely like probably in episode three or four. I need to get back into it so I can know more about Beast Wars because I never seen them the show at all before I seen like previews or pictures and stuff other than that yeah but I do need to get back into the show so I can understand more of these fossil transformer characters and, and stuff but here's Red Brick I love the detail they have on him he is a tiny figure he goes all core class for some reason going for ten dollars which that is really overpriced for these little guys i wish they would like at least be finding it as the battle master were for siege or 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 at least 799 but they go for 10 just like those um micro masters for siege when they they were out back in la last year he is a predicon i think because maximals are the good ones and predicons are the bad ones so yeah He's a Predacon. He uses his tail for his weapon. Pretty cool. Like a little sword. You can see his the face. Nice detailed everywhere. I like how the feet are hit of the dinosaur fossil mode. Pretty amazing. The color on him. All brown and grayish. Not bad. Like the, like, the backpack's not that bad at all. Just his skeleton. I like how he has the arms at the back. The face, as you can see right off, looks pretty all amazing. Looks like it, it was just a Decepticon, but I think they're called Predagons, if I can remember. But yeah, you can also take out the weapon. So this is kind of stiff. <sighs> one second, guys, the arm fell. 
Gotta move the camera a little bit because if I'm between the stuff. Okay. Here it is. Put the camera back in front. Okay, let's see him just put his arm back. There he is, just without the weapon, his tail. Um for whip for his tail, you could just put it up here. It's kind of something hard to put in, but yeah, if you use kind of a little bit of force, but make sure you don't want to break the figure. Do at least leave it like this for now until for Dino Dinosaur Fossil Mode. But yeah, here is Riddle Break with his tail on him. It's pre looks pretty. Amazing and creepy at the same time seeing a fossil or dinosaur transformer figure come to life. I do have some other core class figures. I have Rat Trap and Optimus Prime. I'm gonna do a size comparison, see the difference. Okay, here's Rat Trap looking amazing, and then here's here's next to Optimus. Let me just put the camera more. And this is, I think, wave one of the core class for Kingdom. I got them all. Yeah, I must say they, they all look amazing. Optimus, even though he's my favorite character uh, for core class, he looks cool. Just wish he would have had more, maybe another his axe or something, or better than his backpack. Um, my first, my first out of all three, my best one that I like the most is Rat Trap. I never got to own any of the original Beast Wars figures. No, first time I owned them, so he looks pretty amazing. The red brick is my second because he's a fossil dinosaur and transformer figure. And then having them all in my collection looks pretty amazing. And they all I guess sized up well. Because then you know they're core class, but I know Optimus is probably more bigger than these two, you know. But yeah, looks pretty amazing. So now we're moving Rat Trap and Optimus out of the way, we're gonna do his transformation. So we do is remove the tail. Lift this, this chest piece up. You yeah, turn his hand, lift this whole entire piece up. Lift the, his back part down. You can either put his head like this or turn it around, which I like to do is just. Let's see. Well, I'll just do that this right now because I don't want to break his head off. I'm going to bring this part down all the way and then. This is going to be a. Oh no, actually, first you got to do this part. It'll be a small tab right there. But it's gonna cut to, to this tab right here. There you go, now you can bring the arms. You know what? Like this. And it's gonna be small tabs, I think. Right here with the arms kind of like this. Turn it around. Get something like this. Make sure the all connect together. Now you can bend the leg. Now Double check that this part is clicking good. Now you can bend down the mouthpiece. And now the tail, which you can connect that right here. For some reason, it always has a hard time going in all the way. Not sure why. Now it goes like this. Just get him into a better stand mode, and there he's really breaking his awesome looking dinosaur fossil chest room mode. Not bad, I must say. I do love this figure, even though he's like a tiny version from King. Just bring him closer close. I do like that. I like how the Hasbro managed to create something this small, especially out of a fossil. Not bad at all. I just the only problem I do have is the tail not going in the right way. Like sometimes if you use force, it does go all the way, but sometimes it doesn't. But 
That's all the problem. But other than that, I do love Red Brick Lar. He's pretty amazing. So yeah, my rating for this guy has to be a eight out of ten. Like the only problems with these core core class figures is just the price. You know, with price for like a ten dollar figure, and then just his tail not going in all the way unless you use force. Other than that, the figure really break is amazing. But yes, this is my review on Core Class Really Break from Transformers King. I hope you guys enjoy, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more Transformers Kingdom figures. I'm Marper100, and I'll see you guys in the next Transformers Kingdom review. Peace, guys.